I want to begin by mentioning that Annas, may Allah be pleased with him, reports that whenever the Prophet, peace be upon him, said anything, he liked to repeat his words three times so that the meanings would be understood fully. And whenever he came upon a group of people, he would greet them and he would re repeat this salutation three times. Now this is recorded in both Sahih Bukhari and Muslim, so therefore we have no doubt whatsoever this is something very important that we should pay attention to. Very often people misunderstand each other and a lot of it has to do with our communication. Sometimes I say something, and in my case, I say something kind of fast, and then what happens is you misunderstand or you didn't hear all of it. So if I repeat it, then it makes it easier for you. For instance, if I want to give you instructions about something, then it's rather important. It doesn't hurt to repeat it. Will you please go over there and shut off the microwave oven? Please go over there and turn it off. The microwave oven needs to be shut off. Please do that. And so this would be in the sunnah or the way of Muhammad to repeat what we're trying to get across to somebody. But especially when we're teaching something in Islam, we like to repeat it. Sometimes when we're dealing with the Arabic language, then when we say something, especially if you're not familiar with it, it could be difficult for you. So this gives us a chance to hear it again and then hear it again. And in greeting somebody, if you said, Salam Alaikum, Salam Alaikum, Salam Alaikum, and then people feel good. Look at this guy. He's a really happy person. He's giving me salams three times. And <laughs> Wa Alaikum Salam, Rahmatullah. So this is a very good characteristic of the Prophet, peace be upon him, something for us to learn to 